Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, you guys are in for a little bit of a change of pace. Um, we did move from where we were last time. I thought maybe we would shift our position from being at the Outworlds Alliance to kind of in the thick of things down here. So, we were over here at Ryzen, and we did two jumps. Uh, we jumped 23 days to get all our mechs back to somewhere in here. Then we did another jump over to here, which was 17 days, I think. So 40 days, not so bad. All our mechs are back up and functioning. Uh, we're at Kara right now, or Kurha, and we're going to go ahead and pull off one mission here. And then once we're done that, actually, we'll go back to the map real quick. Once we're done the mission here, we're going to jump over here and take the limited gladiator combat hard mission. Four skulls. I thought, why not? See what, see how it goes. It's a short engagement length. I don't know if we're facing two lances or one, but. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but that's only 17 days away. And what I ended up having to do is I sold some extra engines. We had a couple of XL engines that I sold. We were able to get some C bills to make it through the first. And we got a bit left over for the second financial report. But we're going to pull a mission off real quick on this planet before we go. Um, we're going to take hard contact just to try and pick up some more mech parts and stuff before we jump. Uh, it's really the only thing on here that I really want to do. Um... I don't know how hard it's going to be, but we're going to take that one, and we're going to negotiate it. We're going to go with the main lance again, full salvage. Let's just see what we can get out of this. And we'll go with this. Um, actually, what I want to try and do, and I think maybe we'll bring... Um, yeah, let's swap it out. Where are you here? I want to bring the Catapult 1M today, just to try this out. Now, I know it needs to be close. It's eh, We'll have to see how it goes. You'll see the layout. I haven't really shown you the layout. I talked about it briefly, but we'll see the layout once we get into battle. Um, it's pretty well heat synced. Large, large double plus laser center torso, three double or triple plus SRMs, LK and dead fire S and uh, acid ammo with a pair of triple plus medium lasers as backup, and an extra SRM six. Exchanger recoil for the SRMs. You know, he, you know, it's actually pretty well laid out. So let's just try this with this one today, and let's deploy and get the sucker done. All right, let's see what we're up against here. Expecting heavy resistance. Most likely they've got reinforcements. Um, don't think it'll hurt us to see if they got reinforcements. Let's move over this way. Yes, Commander. Check this shiz out. Okay. So it's the bushwhacker. So let's see how far this guy can move. Ah, not. Too bad, a little slower. It's got a 260 core, so it's like a 49 speed or something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's get you up here. Looking for better sensors. Yeah, I'm hearing vehicles over here. Sounds like I only heard one, though. Four. And what do we got here? We got a black cat, pirate, APC. So it's not really cargo truck, demon, missile carrier, and a Brutus. Oh, we can't shoot at anybody, unfortunately, so. Lerm 5, I guess. Um, so that'll be the large laser. Maybe I should have put ER mediums on here. Not really worried about first striking at this moment. We're in pretty good position to get in here. Yeah, let's get up here though. And that's the demon. Uh, not, well, we'll take the we'll shoot the tag at him. What the ah? For Christ's sake! Really? Do this. I've been 
We're going to hammer these guys this turn. No idea what the black hat's got. Hunchback. It's supposed to be a four skull, so... <sighs> Hope we get some good salvage out of this. Brutus. Alright, Sunflower, let's start this off. Let's see if you can't kill this guy here. That's a lot of TB5s, but let's just warlord it up. Let's make sure we hit. Wow. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, man. Didn't kill him. Hopefully Megasaur's in range. The catapult, you notice it's got five chevrons of evasion. I put an evasion gyro on it, or a defensive gyro. I was concerned about the speed. They've got a lock on me. But it's really designed to be tanky and up front, right? So, uh, let's attack from this side. Only because we don't want to turn our back to the guys across the water there. Mm. Reliability. I hate to say this, but I think they really need to pull the to hit on melee down a lot. Because really, when you think about it, there really is no other reason to be like using anything but melee at higher levels for that 320 some odd pinpoint damage. Like, why would you want to use anything else? DBM carrier. Um. Yeah, I'm going to push this. I'm going to see what we can do on this guy here. So let's Warlord it. And then let's switch these all to dead fire. Yeah, pretty good chances to hit. Not bad. And we'll dump everything onto this guy. So we're hitting 16s with, with most of the SRMs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to multi-target this. And that's the Brutus is almost done. So let's go with, just in case we don't kill them. Yeah. Copy that, Commander. Okay, one down. Two down. Why are we looking at the other one now? Whatever. Frag the vehicle. Okay, so it sounds like they've only got one vehicle over here. The match is a lot better when you don't, or when, sorry, when you kill these guys first. It's, I don't want to say it's more evenly matched, but it pretty much is. Alright, fire on this guy. Because now you can take care of this side. I can take care of the reinforcements really, without really too much having to worry about these guys. Ready for orders. And we're just going to maneuver it back around a bit. Get into some cover. We don't need to push this engagement. We'll do that in a minute. But we'll do it on our terms. Okay, so they don't really have... Battle line. Thought they had. Well, the black cat looks like it's going to be our salvage. Standing by. So let's see what we can do to this MRM carrier here. 320 improved MRMs. Don't really have a great chance to hit, but we're going to take it anyway. Wow. 
Got the tag on. What's up, boss? Let's get Megasaur into position down here. We can't. I guess we can't get anywhere where they can't see us. I want to try and turn the left side as much as I can. I didn't do that in the last battle, um, just to get that shield up. Go after this battle bus. Soldier. Usually they've got a lot of armor. Actually, so this is black cat. Is this? It looks like a mad cat, I guess. Just a blacker version. I, I don't know. Let's go after this guy. Uh, you're gonna leave the acid on. Firing. All right. Good damage. Let's see how far we can get up here. Can we get to see the battle bus? Ah, I can. Let's hammer that battle bus. I want to get that out of here. Uh, we're going to put up the LK. We have acid on this thing already, I think. So, hammering. Okay. Catapult's not too bad. Not too bad. you got to be close with it, though. Without being close, it's really way more difficult to hit. That's it, eh? Alright, Yags, yeah, let's get down. Uh, let's see if we can remove that MRM bastard over there. Yeah, we're going to take the shot. It is a little hot. It's the one thing I'm noticing. We, I mean, we are in desert terrain, though, so... Um, let's reserve you. I want to see if we can shut down that that cat. Yeah, let's reserve you too. I'm receiving you. Let's start stand on the uh, charred remains of your friend there. Uh, we're gonna hit it up with a warlord on this. Oops. And uh, let's see if we can melt you. Fire it. Oh, not quite enough. He is standing in water, so it's going to be really difficult. Reporting minimal damage. Mm -hmm. Really hoping for him to be shut down, but we can't have everything in life, can we? Uh, we can do this though. Copy that. Okay, not a bad start. What's this hunchback doing? Bitchy melees. Well, gotta keep my mouth shut. Yeah, so the stealth on the catapult isn't that great. It's the R12 sheath beacon. So it's not too bad. That's why I put the defense gyro on it. Just to keep it from being completely smooshed. Uh, let's just move into here, probably. Confirmed. And we're in the water. We are attempting on getting salvage from this guy, so let's do this. I copy. Well, at least he's tagged. Wow, you get to go again, eh? Oh, man. This guy's, like, gonna wish he wasn't here. What is up, Bubba? 480. Alright, uh, let's get on this side. Same thing. Going for thermonuclear meltdown on this guy. So let's just uh, be like an evil, ch evil child and attempt to pull this guy's wings off. Don't need the offensive push. Alright, there's one leg. Critical hit, Commander.
Um, let's walk it up to here. I think we get some height advantage too. I'm going to turn these guys off. And we're just going to pinpoint. Uh, I'm going to warlord it for the extra damage. Might as well. I'm going to pinpoint that other leg and fire. There you go. So I saw some prototype double heat sinks there. I think we definitely want to grab some of those. Barely took any damage here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Black hat parts. Oh, we do have black hat parts already. Oh, we can't pull a whole black hat off, so I'm not going to... They're what? 55 tons? 75 tons. Should we grab two? That puts it within range of being able to get one. Um, and then I'm thinking the proto double heats. Well, MRM. Do they have MRM ammo? Double load of MRM. Okay. Um. Uh, I hate to say this, guys, but uh, I think we're leaving the black hat behind. We want to get another build going. It looks like this is going to be the best place to actually grab the ammo we need to do that. Uh, hate to make this an ammo run, but... So prototype double heat sink kit. We still got one of these kicking around, right? We got two of them. Did we destroy all those proto double heat sinks? I guess we did. Defensive gyros. These are always really great. Um, looks like we destroyed all those proto double heat sinks. Clan endo steel, though. I think that's a better choice. Ah, uh, nice stuff up here, but I'm thinking right now we got the MRMs that we want to use in another catapult, so let's take the ammo for it. We definitely need the ammo, so we'll go that route. The proved ammo is great. The double load is awesome, right? It's giving us 450 shots. Now, if we're shooting MRM 60, that's not going to, that's like, what, six, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half turns, and these are three each, so, what? 13 turns of ammo right here. Plus we have another half ton, so we might be able to go bigger than an MRM-60. But anyway, let's confirm this. So we did get a black hat part. That's nice. Uh, hopefully we can capitalize on something else. We got another MRM-30. Good for a backup weapon. We got Case 2, but we've already got it. Yeah, and light PPC pirate. That's definitely sellable. Yeah, alright. That's not too bad. All right, barely any damage at all. So with that being done, it was a really quick test and it really wasn't really accurate as to how well this catapult is going to perform. But it's a great burrower. If we shut something down with the uh, the Flamehawk, this thing should be able to just burrow right through the side of it. Um, against heavier mechs though, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that being said, let's go to the star map. Let's roll the bones on this over here. Short engagement, rogue loot cache. I have no idea what we're going to get out of this. 17 days. It's a four skull. I think we'll probably be okay. Let's try it out and see. Better keep working at it. Oh, I can't five plus. We've been getting better, like good results on this more often than not. So I just keep them, let them working at the at the stuff. So it's too bad they can't actually improve it so the weight goes down. That would be helpful. All right. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you. Let's get everyone paid here before we get there. Let's get everybody paid. All right, on our way. So we're still pretty close to getting our uh, financial report. I think we probably have enough uh, GAC that we can sell to. Still got a lot of junk I haven't sold. Been trying to pare down all the extra weapons that we have. Just been selling them off. I don't even think we have a like a regular medium laser kicking around. I think I've sold them all. We have all bonus medium lasers. All right, so let's begin this. 
jump right into it. Limited gladiator contact. Contract. Jewel thing. Let's negotiate this. And if you're going to fight us, we're going to take full salvage, man. Let's accept this. What the hell is this? It's a one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Command interface initiated. Oh, this is going to work bad for you, buddy. What are you in over there? I don't know. Does it really matter? Ginger Jankowski. Live footage, eh? Ready to rock, Chief. Well, what the only reason why I didn't take it myself and put Megasaur in because she is really the Lance. I mean, when you think about it, you could say that, you know, yeah, Babiega may be in charge, but just being in charge doesn't mean you, you're the best person or the best pilot or the best gunner or best anything. It just means you're in charge. Maybe you're the best tactician. On the move. I'm coming for you. <laughs> this is going to be painful for you, buddy. It's going to be painful. Yes, I kind of bet. I kind of glad it is like just only one mech. It means we're going to get some pretty good salvage. Oh, he's trying to go down there. Oh, it's an Athena. Oh, <gasps> we've got Athena parts. Trying to get into swirlies. I bet he's like, I'll just stay away from you and pepper you with missiles. And then he's like, holy shit, that guy moves really fast. And then he'll say, oh shit, I'm dead. Is that all you got, buddy? He's saying, is that all you got? Oh, I'll show you what I got. Get your damage in now, buddy. So, right now, in the booth, right, they're all like, Oh my god, the Athena's moved in and really hammered the Black Knight. And, oh, of course, everyone that's supporting this person is like, screaming at the window, Yeah, yeah! And all our crew just, you know, we're just kind of sitting back with our feet up, sipping our drinks quietly, because we know exactly what's about to happen. Thank you for showing up. Oh, yeah. But I gotta go. <laughs> and now the room went silent. Tango down. Uh, there's more of them? Waiting for orders. Let's go find him. Copy that. Did you bring a buddy with him? Maybe. Commander. Maybe he brought reinforcements. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. He brought an urban mech with him. You're only gonna get one shot, buddy. Make it a good one. That's not a good shot. Stop the camera guy. That's the camera guy? Standing by. What is up, camera guy? Two for two. Once again, the room goes silent. We're still sitting in... We're still sitting in the booth with our feet up on the table, just slowly sipping our drinks. Just no emotions, no nothing. It's just like... Can we go now? Is it time to go? Poles are coming in now. Really? 
Okay, so we got two smudges on the map. Very little damage. Uh, took a little bit in the one arm. Oh, he had, I think he had to hit us pretty good in that one arm. A little bit in the torso. I mean, if they had sustained if sustained fire at distance, they could have done some damage. All right, so we got Athena part. We'll take the one part. Heat sink cooling pod, probably. Although, MRM double ammo. Gonna take that, because we are trying an MRM build, so the more MRM ammo we have. Oh my god, I'm so dry. The more MR, MRM ammo we have, the better off. Let's confirm this. Got the urban mech part, and we didn't get the heat sink cooling pod, but that's all great. Another MRM 30. Got like, what, five of these now? Wow. Wonderful. Well, let's see what we get here. Pay out 900 grand, which is excellent. <sighs> Jenner part, urban mech part. Are you, are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, well, can't have everything. 37 th or 32,000 repairs for one Mac. Not bad, but it's because of the spiky armor, I think. All right. Well, you know what? That payout plus the uh, the time now. This uh, episode went a hell of a lot faster than I thought. So let's have a look at the mech bays and see what we can do. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the contracts here first, just to make sure we can make some C bills off camera. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff here we can do. Um, let's go back and forth just to, uh, fill it out. Turn the tables, three skull, we can do that for a million. Steal a prototype, we can do for a million. Oh yeah, lots of stuff. So we can make C-bills, no problem. Alright, so let's have a look. Um, bays. Alright, catapult C2. Still trying to think of a good loadout for this Griffin. I tried, like I said, ERPPC and SRMs, but it's just so underwhelming. All right, equipment, weapons. Actually, let's put an engine in first. It's probably a better idea. Thinking of a 260. Probably fast enough. It's about the same speed as the other one. A little slower, but not much. I think we have a 280 in the other one, actually. Gonna need the cooling system for sure. We might go pro. Well, I don't think we'll go pro. We only got one double heat sink, so it may not be worth it. Um, yeah, go that, and then probably clan endo, maybe. Let's just go regular endo first. I don't know if we'll need the clan, and I'll leave the pharaoh for now. Um, Put an XL gyro in. Uh, is do we have a light engine up here, right? We do. Well, that might not be a bad idea. Let's leave it there for now. We're gonna need the weight, so if we're gonna do it, we should do it right. Um, now we don't have any upper arm mounts for this thing. I guess we should probably check the store, just in case. You never know. Sometimes I used to find them in here, but I haven't found any in a long time. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Sniper sensors might be an idea though, but a little too much. Okay, so we're going to want to have case that has to be in here. Let's have a look at our weapons. So weight wise, what are we working with here? Almost 30 tons. Gonna need to remember our ammo. Um, now I was weird. It's weird that we just kind of picked up this MRM ammo all in one day, and we couldn't find any for how many episodes? Can we find ammo, MRM ammo for a ridiculous number of them? Wonder if this is too much. We're gonna see what kind of MRMs we're loading up, though. We still got what 24 tons. So this is gonna be an all missile build. So we got we can go MRM 30, can we? How much are the 40s? 12 tons each. 
I can make that work. A pair of MRM 40s. Or we could go, this is 7 and this is what, 10? Yeah. I was thinking of going a 30 and 30 and 20 in each arm, but there's just no way weight wise. It's still more efficient to go with the bigger ones. Um, all right, so we're going to need Pharaoh for sure. Almost out of slots now. So we can't go with that. We're going to have to go with Clan Pharaoh. Um, Sebo cost is going way up there now. Let's go with probably Warfare Suite. It's three tons though, that's the problem, right? We're probably going to have to go with a uh, R12 Sheath Beacon. Now we do have... We don't need the Artemis in here. Um, I thought we had another. We have a missile. Direct missile accuracy. Let's get accuracy on these guys because they're minus one accuracy. Um... You want to go with an initiative cockpit? Initiative and resolve, maybe? I th maybe it's initiative and injury resist. Let's go with the R12 sheet beacon. And then figure out what... It's either going to be an armored cowl or... I think we just go with this. Let's go with injury resist, because if we're being shot at, I don't want to take injuries. Um... There's also the indirect, but we, the MRMs are direct fire weapons, right? Yeah, we can't indirect with this, so there's no point. Um, that's the other option. We could load out the other guys, an indirect missile platform. Depending on the mission, we could just swap them around. Um, still got a little bit of weight left. we got to figure out what we want to put in here. Sensor range increase. Eh. ECM. We change this sheath beacon out to something else. We don't really have anything else. So let's leave that in there. Kind of killing two birds with one stone with that. Um, maybe a bigger engine. Now what's the difference in weight here? Once again, you can use the formula for engines if you want. So um, going with the 260, it's basically 4 times 65, which is the weight of the catapult. Right, which kind of gives you, if you look at the movement up here, it gives you 5.8 movement. But if you put a 280 in, let's say, and I don't think it's going to be, uh, it will, will be able to weight wise, but if you put a 280 in, um, then it's probably still going to be the same speed. Well, it's 5.9. So, you know, movement slightly goes up on the sprint end of things, but on the map board, when you're going through trees or water, there's a chance that it's going to be a little better for you. Um, the game doesn't work this exactly the same way as the tabletop. So just keep that in mind when dropping cores and you don't have to go with the formula. Plus the fact that dropping the 280 in will give you the ability to put a heat sink here in the center. Um, actually, now that I think about it, we should probably just go... Let's go to... Um, I think we can just put the regular Pharaoh back in. No, I don't think so. We want to go with Clan Endo. Or, let's go with the Clan Pharaoh. Clan Endo can go elsewhere. Um, and I think maybe just so that we've got something, just in case we put a medium laser on this thing. We got some laser hard points, so we might as well drop one in. Or tag. That's the other option, is dropping a tag in. Because we have to be staring. Or a laser AMS. That's probably a good idea. Give us a little bit more defense and then drop a couple points off the back here. And I think we're good. So we've got 450, 900, 1300. Yeah, 1300 rounds. And then 80, so... That's actually not bad. 46. That's like a little bit more than what we need. That's like 16 turns of firing.
We could drop a double down to a normal, have an extra ton for something. We'd be losing three turns of fire, and we'd be down to 13. I, I don't like the idea of going in without a backup weapon. So I don't think we just have normal MRM ammo. We've got an MRM half load left, and that's it. Nope, let's leave it like let's leave it like this. Let's just try this. 1.4. Not bad. 14 days. Right. I'll get it in the skip. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the episode here. When we come back next time, um, what I'll probably do between episodes is pull off a quick uh, milk run just so we have sea bills for the end of the month. And then when we come back, we'll have the Black Knight and the Catapult back. And what we'll do is run a double, cat double Catapult. Um, I don't know if we'll run the Flame Hawk. We might not. Um, but we'll have the, the uh, Black Knight. Maybe a Bushwhacker. We'll see. I have to figure out what we're going to do with that. Um... Because with the two catapults, we're not going to really have a lot of accuracy. So the Shadowhawk shutting people down, um, really not going to allow us to pull the legs off in any way. It'll just allow us to hammer it. So we might as well just bring in just a Bushwhacker or something. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then we'll try that Lance out and see how it works. I don't think, I think the catapult should be really left for a situational, depending on the, uh, the fighting that we're doing. We can leave it for... You know, base destruction missions or things like that. Um, either that or build a second lance with the two catapults and maybe the crab and the wolverine or something like that. Um, or the hunchback and the wolverine. And leave our main lance as is. Um, the main lance is really set up for um, capturing mechs. So we got our two pinpoint accuracy guys, our shutdown mech, and then the guy that can just get rid of people we don't want <laughs> or that are a problem. So introduction of the two catapults kind of breaks that up but um yeah well, we might run the two catapults and then like the hunchback and i don't know wolverine or crab or something probably the wolverine because it's faster or even the griffin if we can get it up and running with a half decent loadout uh we'll have to see how it goes all right so we're gonna leave the episode here if you enjoyed it uh drop a like yeah, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe also drop any comments in the comment section down down below if you have any ideas for mech loadouts that you'd like to see uh i don't mind trying them if they're uh you know, viable or whatever. So yeah. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.